it is very easy to accumulate stuff. Stuff and clothes and things and whatever you think you hold dearest to your heart. Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Daniela and today we'll be talking about the 30 day declutter challenge that I am currently going through. In the past eight days, I've already gotten rid of 175 items which feels insane to calculate and say out loud, given there's still so much around me. I have accumulated a lot of stuff in my 26 years on this planet. About two years ago, I decided to start my decluttering journey. I had accumulated a ton of clothing in particular that felt like skeletons in my closet, felt like a huge burden, a huge weight on my shoulders. It was overwhelming and I always knew it, but I didn't do anything about it. What really pushed me over the edge into decluttering majority of the things I own, and I still own in particular a lot of clothing. I would say I got rid of about 50% of the clothing that I owned at this time, and that was because my partner and I decided to buy a school bus, renovate it, and live in it, and move into it, and travel the country. And so obviously, we share one closet, and I went from having like, maybe even eight closets worth of clothes, plus I stored racks in our basement, just like filled with clothing that I did not wear. So anyways, I've been on this decluttering journey for about two years and I still feel like there is more to go. So I've decided to do what is called the minimalist game. For my purposes, I'm not a minimalist. I don't identify as a minimalist. The goal is to be more intentional with what I do keep around. So I'm just calling it the decluttering challenge. 30 day decluttering challenge where same concept, on day one, you let go of one thing. On day two, two things, all the way up to 30 things. And I'm currently on day eight. So far, it has been going really well. Starting on Christmas, this is day two of my decluttering. And today we've chosen these items, which accounted for 25 items. Yesterday was 12. And so I can cross two of the days of the 30 days off of my list. It is day three of decluttering and I am still feeling really excited and motivated to see how much stuff I can get rid of today. I'm kind of freaking out because I lost my iPad pen, but I'm filling out day 10. It feels very exciting. It's going to get more difficult, but as of right now, 100% certain that I'm going to make it through this challenge and I am feeling successful and motivated and like I can do it. So let's do it. 16 items. It's almost been too easy to let go of things, which it's still day eight. I'm sure it's going to get really difficult. It's just showing me how much I have that I already don't need in these first eight days. I was very inspired by this video Leah's Field Notes put out about her 30 day declutter challenge. Some of the tips she had on there I've been carrying into my own and I am finding them extremely helpful as well as just found her video inspiring and I hope to do the same for you guys. One of the tips that Leah gave was that you don't necessarily have to go in order. And I found this so far extremely useful because when I'm motivated to get rid of things, I don't wanna just pick one item today. I wanna get rid of what I wanna get rid of. So I've been hitting some of those larger numbers earlier when I'm feeling super motivated. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. 50, 51. I've decluttered 51 items and there are also the 10 items from earlier for a total of 61 items. And what's helping me is going kind of not, I wouldn't say room to room because we, we live in a school bus, there aren't like so many rooms, but sections of the room. I started with my closet, which was a separate video before I even started this challenge a couple weeks ago, and then have moved around our bedroom as well as our bathroom. Go to your shower, go to your bathroom. There are so many products that we get as samples or that we try and we wind up not liking and we leave more than half of around. It's time to get rid of those. Another thing that Leah did that has been super helpful and fun for me was create 
her own little tracker, which I made my own little tracker. This is my 30 days of decluttering tracker and it has been really fun just to, at the end of each day, be able to keep track of what I'm getting rid of and color in my little box with that day's number. I also bought the book The Year of Less and have honestly devoured this book in the past eight days. I've got your guide to less so like the last little chapter left to read but this has been very inspiring it's not about decluttering it's about a no buy year which i also started as of today but it just inspires me to like really want to be super intentional with what i own with what i consume with what i bring in this home and what i surround myself by and yeah, the combination of doing this and decluttering at the same time I think is really beautiful too because letting go and then not necessarily just filling all that space with new things but really being intentional with what sort of new things you want to introduce when you're in such a state of purging. I will be linking this book in our Amazon storefront which you can find in the description along with the things that we do use on a day-to-day -day and really love and have value in our lives. In the past eight days, I've already gotten rid of 175 items, which feels insane to calculate and say out loud, given there's still so much around me. But wow, wow, in the past eight days, I've gotten rid of 175 items. That feels really good. That feels really good. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> well, I guess that's the past seven days because today is day eight and I have yet to declutter. I know I've got a bin of summer clothes under the bed that I'm feeling motivated to go through. It's day eight. I've pulled out all my summer clothes from under the bed. There's a lot to go through, so let's get started. So I tried on all of these jeans and jean shorts and and I'm proud to say I'm only keeping one pair. It's also because it's the only pair that fits. We're getting rid of one, two, three pairs of jeans, and then I'm keeping one pair of shorts and getting rid of one, two, three, four pairs of shorts. Seven items for day number eight feels good to finally let go of things that are too small and embrace where I'm at in life now, where my body's at. I feel like I went through a lot of emotions today for the first time on day eight of my decluttering journey. So thanks for sticking in there and be sure to give a like and subscribe if you want to see how the rest of this 30 day challenge goes. Alrighty, bye!